hello hello everyone hello guys how are you guys on today well guess what guess what time it is it is story time with miss doris i have an awesome awesome story for us on today today's story we're going to be reading is picklicious the princess of pink slumber party Pinkalicious, the princess of Pink Slumber Party. I'm so glad you guys are going to be tuning in in a second. I'll give moms and dads a couple of seconds so you guys can come on in, join in for story time with Miss Doris. I do not own the rights and the lyrics to the music that's playing in the background for our story time on today we do not own the copyrights to that music that's playing in the background for our story time on today i'm gonna go ahead on and get started i would like to say hello good morning good afternoon good evening and to some good night someone is going to bed somewhere in the world but guess what you are just in time for story time with Ms. Doris. I am so excited to be reading you a story on today. Hello and welcome to story time with Ms. Doris. Today's book we're going to be reading is Pinkalicious, the Princess of Pink Slumber Party. Pinkalicious, the Princess of Pink Slumber Party. And guess what? Our guest Muppet on today is going to be Muppet Piggy. Muppet Piggy. And guess what? I guess you guys already has figured out what today's color is. Today's color is going to be the color pink. Today's color is the color pink. Miss Piggy is pink. Pinkalicious is wearing pink on today and miss doris is wearing pink as well hello and welcome i've already greeted everyone well guess what go ahead on guys and have a seat while miss doris read you a story on today no story time song today we'll probably do story time song tomorrow i am not at home so let's get started with our story i hope you guys are having an awesome awesome Delicious, delicious lunch on today. Let's get started with our story. Pinkalicious, the pink, the princess of pink slumber party. Pinkalicious, the princess of pink slumber party. I was having a slumber party. It was not any old slumber party. It was a princess of pink party. My whole family got ready. Mommy and daddy dressed up like a queen and king. I'm the royal prince, said Peter. He grabbed the crown out of my hand. You are more like a royal joker, I told him. Excuse me. Ding dong, the princess are here, I said. I twirled my way to the door and let my royal friends in. Welcome, I said with a courtesy. Enter the castle, fair maidens. How grand, Marley, Molly said. I'm ready for the ball, Rose said. Hello, Princess Allison, I said. Hi, Allison, said quietly. She held her bear tightly. Mm -hmm. 
let's play musical thrones. I started the music and we danced around the chairs. I didn't even mind being the last one left without a thorn, without a throne, sorry. Yay, I won, said Molly. Your prize, your majesty, I said. I handed Molly a pink casket wand. It's time to make tiaras, I said. Oh, said Rose, look at the dazzling jewels. My tiara is going to twinkle like a star, said Molly. Hello, Royce. Hello, Miss Nisha. How are you on today? Look at me, I said. I put my tiara proudly on my head. I have the sparkliest tiara in the land. Dinner is served, said Mommy. We made a royal feast, said Daddy. Princess and a split pea soup, chicken nuggets, a la king, and castle cupcakes for dessert. Peter said, if I was ruler, we'd always eat dessert first. Yum, yum. Yum, I said. That would be a very, 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 very sweet kingdom. After dinner, Peter climbed to the top of a pile of pillows and yelled, I'm the king of the castle. It's princess of the castle around here, I said. Princess rule, Molly said. There they go. I think they're about to have a pillow fight. That sounds like fun. If you guys are having pillow fights, make sure you are practicing safety, safety, first. Suddenly I heard a sniffle. It came from Allison. What's wrong? I asked her. I'm scared to sleep over. She whispered in my ear. I gave Allison a hug. Sleeping away from home can be kind of scary, I said. Oh, don't be scared, Allison. You're going to have lots and lots of fun. What will a real princess do to make Allison feel better, I asked. Protect her from villains, Rose said. A princess faces her perils with strength, Molly said. Allison still looks scared. I know, I said. A real princess would have a dragon to protect her. Close your eyes, I said. Unlock the magic kingdom. What do you see? Nothing, said Allison. Listen, I said. Do you hear the dragon walking in the enchanted forest? That's your dad walking down the hall, Rose said. Breathe, I said. Do you smell the odor of dragon breath in the air? Oh, excuse me, Molly said. I just burped. Oh my goodness, really, excuse you. Wait, I said. Don't you hear the loud beating of the dragon's heart? That's my heart, said Rose. I've never seen a dragon before. There's the dragon up 
in the window. Can you see that beautiful pink dragon? Hello, Royce. Royce, how are you today? Now open your eyes, I said. The dragon is here. It is pink and it is breathing fire. Look how spiky its tail is. I see the dragon, Allison said. It's the sparkling in the moonlight. The dragon smiled. She will protect us, I said. Whoa. Look at the dragon, beautiful pink. It's the same color as today's color. Today's color is the color pink. What do you think the dragon's name is, Rose asked. Allison yawned. Oh, oh my goodness. Can I tell you in the morning? I'm so, oh, oh, excuse me. I'm so sleepy, Allison said. Good night, princess. Good night, princess of pink, I said. Good night, dragon. Oh, oh, excuse me. We all said good night. Outside, the dragon winked. The end. Oh my goodness. This was such an awesome, awesome book. I enjoyed reading you guys' story on today. Pinkalicious, the princess of the pink slumber party. Wow, that was an awesome story on today. I enjoyed reading you guys a story on today that was an awesome story well guys remember if you're not feeling well always always let someone know you're not feeling well and guess what they will take really 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 good care of you and when you're playing with your friends or you're out and about or you're planning for your slumber party and you guys are having lots and lots and lots of fun make sure that you are always always washing and sanitizing your hands at all times because that's why we don't want you guys getting sick i want you well at all all times and remember when you're out in public make sure you are wearing your mask make sure you're wearing your mask at all all times in public because guess what we are still practicing safety safety first i enjoyed reading you guys this story on today and remember if you're not smiling on today i hope once you see miss doris's smile and miss piggy's smile that you are smiling on today have an awesome, awesome day, guys. Take care and see you on tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Ready for the weekend. Okay, guys, a smile just for you. Hello, Royce. How are you today? Are you going swimming on today, Royce? Have you been having fun learning and practicing on how to swim I bet you are. You're going to be an awesome, awesome swimmer. You and brother. I know you are. Okay. Have an awesome, awesome day. Love you guys. Take care. Don't forget to smile. Baseball. Well, have fun. Hit a home run for Miss Storytime on today, Royce. Hit a home run for Miss Doris at Storytime. I hope mom catch those 
features on video. I want to see that home run. Or guess what? Even if you get on base, I want to see that picture. Have an awesome time. Take care. Love you. See you soon.